Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we will continue our series of migration of VMs. So on my last video I showed you how to actually migrate a Ubuntu server to Proxmox. So in this video I will show you how to do the same but this time using Windows Server 2025. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first note here is this can also apply to Windows Server 2011, 2026, 16 actually, or 2019 servers also, okay? But here for as a demonstration, I'll be using Windows Server 2025, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is that we have actually to prepare our Windows Server virtual machine. So in order to do that, we need a couple of softwares, okay? So I will show you the first one, which is very important, is that we have actually to download the virtual IO drivers. So in order to download them, you will find the link on the description, okay? So these drivers will allow us to boot actually our uh, virtual machine on Proxmox without having this famous blue screen. And we need also the QEMU image program, okay, that will allow us to convert the Hyper-V format, which is VMTX format, to a format that Proxmox can recognize, which is QCOW2, okay? And actually we did that on my last video, but I will show you also in this video how to do that. It's pretty easy, just execute the command, it will convert that to the appropriate format, okay? So as I told you, the first step is to prepare our image. So here we have a Windows Server uh, 2025. So you have to actually attach the ISO of the virtual IO ISO that you have downloaded to it. So all you have to do is just to go to the settings of this virtual machine and here you can see that we have a DVD drive. So all you have to do is to attach to this DVD drive an image and the image will be just this uh, virtual ISO. So I will browse to my uh, actually downloads and here we go this is our uh, virtual Windows drivers. Okay, so now we can just run this Windows Server uh, actually virtual machine and execute the program that we will find in this DVD. Okay, so I will apply that and I will OK. Then I will launch our Windows Server 2025. So I will start it. Here we go. So here the Windows Server is starting. So this is our uh, Windows Server. Here we go, we can log in. So as you can see, this is the server manager, but we don't need it. So I will go straight ahead to the DVD drive in order to execute the two programs that are actually inside this ISO that we have downloaded. So, so this is our DVD drive. So let's just open it on the Explorer. And in the bottom, you'll find two programs that we actually must execute in order to prepare our uh, Windows Server virtual machine. So the first one is this virtual I.O. drivers. So I will choose here the version 64 bits. So you have just to click on next, next, next. So me, I already done that. So I will just repair the installation and install it. 
So this program will allow us to install the virtual I.O. drivers that are needed in order to boot actually the Windows server on Proxmox. And also you should execute this virtual I.O. guest tools. So those tools will allow us to install the QEMU actually uh, agent also. Okay. So once you have executed these two programs, your virtual machine is actually ready to be transferred to Proxmox, but after converting it to the appropriate format. Okay. So here you can see the QEMU guest agent is also being installed using the virtual win guest tools okay so everything is okay now we can just shut down this uh, virtual machine and proceed to the next step so make sure to shut down the virtual machine properly okay so everything is okay so the state is off so now all we have to do is to go to the location of this Windows Server hard disk. So if you don't know where it's located, all you have to do is to right click on this Windows Server, go to the settings. And here on the hard drive, you will find the virtual hard disk location. So by default, it's located on this program data, Microsoft Windows virtual hard disks. So let's go to it. So on my machine, it's here, okay? So now I have to execute a command on my terminal. So I will show you this command here. So we'll go to the directory where you have actually installed the program, the program that I showed you, which is the QMU converter, this program here, QMU image. So for me, it's installed under program files, QMU, and you have to execute this command, QMU image convert and you have here to specify the output which is qcow2 which is the format that proxmox recognized okay and of course here we have also to specify the name of the output file so here i will keep just the win server.qcow2 file format so you execute this command in order to convert actually the hyper-v disk format to the Proxmox disk format which is QCOW2 so it will take a lot of time so for me a couple of minutes it depends on the size of your image and finally you will get uh, this file here winserver.qcow2 okay so for me it's around actually 11 gigabytes so now we will use another program in order to transfer it to Proxmox, okay? But before that, let's create our virtual machine on Proxmox, okay? So I will go to my Proxmox here and I will simply click on this create virtual machine. Here we go. So here you have to note the virtual machine ID, which is very important because we have to transfer the file that we have converted to a directory that has the same ID, okay? So here you have to name your virtual machine. So I will just call it uh, WinServer uh, Hyper-V in order just to distinguish it from the other VMs. So this is the name of my virtual machine. So I will go next. So for the DVD, I don't need it. I don't use any media, so do not use any media. For the guest OS type, of course, it's Windows, Microsoft Windows. And for the version here, I will actually use 2025. <coughs> then I will go next. For the system, I will keep with the default. Here I have just to provide the storage name. So for me, my storage is also called storage. So I will choose it from here. So choose your storage. Then next, for the disk, I don't need any because I will be using the imported disk from Hyper-V. So I will just delete this IDE0 disk, okay? 
for the CPU you choose depending on your needs so I'll choose as a type uh, here host and I will use four cores okay for me it's enough for the memory choose also what you need for me I will stick with four gigabytes then for the network you can choose uh, the bridge that you want to use so I will keep with the default one which is the MPR0 then you go next okay so you have everything you need so one more do not forget actually to, uh, to this number here 148 which is the VMIG okay so I will hit finish so normally you will see on the left a virtual machine that has been created but it's not started yet here we go this is it win server hyper v so now we are sure that the uh, directory corresponding to this virtual machine has been created on your proxmox so now we can go to our uh, filezilla client in order to transfer this image here that we have converted this uh, win server that qcow2 to the corresponding directory okay so i will open actually filezilla here here we go, this is FileZilla that I'll be using in order to transfer the image. Okay, and of course I have set up the credentials for Proxmox. So as protocol I will use STF, ST, SFTP actually. And the host, this is the IP address of my uh, Proxmox. For the logon type, I will choose normal. And I will put my credentials. So here I'm using root and I will connect. Okay, so I'm connected to my Proxmox. So you can see on the left, I have the directory where my virtual hard disk on Windows exists. So I have to transfer this file here, Windows server.qcow2, to the corresponding directory, okay? So, for Proxmox, if you are using the default installation, the images will be located on slash var slash lab slash vz slash images. But if you have mounted uh, an external drive, normally your images will be located on the mount directory. Okay. So me for my storage is under mount pve storage this is the name of my storage and here is the folder images so when you see a lot of actually numbers you can be sure that's the directory where your vm exists so i will scroll down till i found the vm id corresponding to the virtual machine that i have created on my proxmox so remember for me it's 148 so this is it 148 so I go inside it and now all I have to do is to copy or to transfer actually this uh, winserver.qcow2 file to this corresponding directory. So I will put it here. And of course, as it's actually 11 gigabytes, it will take some time. Okay. So we will wait for the transfer to finish. Then we will proceed. So we are almost done here, okay? Mm. So the transfers are finished. So we have now everything in order to boot our machine. But before that, let's go once again to our uh, Proxmox web GUI. And we have to execute a very important command on the shell. So I will go to my Proxmox node here. I will go to the shell. And here I have to execute the command QM rescan. Okay. So it will rescan the volume and you will get this message. 
VM148 add unreferenced volume. This is the file that we have transferred. Was added actually to the config. So if you don't get this message, it means that you put your uh, QCOW2 file on the wrong directory. Okay. So now let's return back to our machine, virtual actually machine, which is 148. Okay. And I will go to the hardware section in order to add actually this unused disk. So this is the disk that we have just added. So I will click on it and I will edit it. Make sure it's an IDE. So all I have to do is to add it. Okay, add. So now the hard disk is added. Okay. So the last step is to make sure to boot using this hard disk actually. So for that you go to the options and you look for the boot order so i will just edit this boot order here so you can see it's on the last position so i have to enable it and put it on the first position okay so now i guess everything is okay so let's hit okay and let's try to boot this uh, virtual machine so i'll hit just start button here and see on the console what we get so our virtual machine now is booting and indeed we have our windows server 2025 so let's log in to this server here So I'll use, of course, the same credentials. Just to make sure that everything is working properly. And indeed we are in. So you can see here the server manager is starting. So we have successfully actually migrated our Windows Server 2025 from Hyper-V to Proxmox, okay? So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you have any suggestions for future video, drop them in the comments below. So as always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.